you know, that wasn't the, that was the first experience of bullying that I would have, but it would follow me all throughout my high school years. I remember one day I came to school and I went to my locker and someone had written the word faggot across my locker. Now, that sounds scary, but remember, we were in Paducah, Kentucky, so they didn't know how to spell it. <laughs> Don't you hate when someone wants to call you something and they're so smart that they know what you are, but they don't even know how to spell what they want to call you? How intelligent is that? I always wanted to go up to one of those kids and say, you know what, just because there's only one G in bigot doesn't mean that faggot only has one G. <laughs> but then again, I doubt they would have known what a bigot was either, so it probably would have been wasted. <laughs> but you know, growing up in that high school, you know, we didn't have any gay role models. We didn't have anybody that we could talk to. We didn't have anybody in, um, that I knew of that was gay, especially in my high school. I remember, you know, last year I went to my high school reunion and I was still the only gay one there. Well, the only openly gay one there, of course. You know how that goes. And at the beginning of the night, nobody wanted to sit at my table. But of course, by the end of the night, mine was the table to sit at. So you know how that goes. But, um, being in high school and not having any role models, I mean, even on TV, when you flipped on the TV, either we were there portrayed as being sick or we were portrayed as being comic relief or something. And so really, you didn't really have any positive role models to go by. And then I remember in my sophomore year of high school, something happened that would change the face of our gay world forever. And the anniversary of it was this past week. And that was the horrible death of Matthew Shepard. I don't think there's anybody in this room who will not remember where you were when you heard about that. And for me, of course, you know, I think it did more harm than good because I think it pushed me back in the closet a little further because I said, you know what, here I live in this little town. This person is like me, feels the same way I do, and now he has been murdered. And if I come out, that's going to happen to me too. I know everyone else in that town thought that as well. But, you know, we all couldn't stop watching the TV and watching all of the, you know, media that was being portrayed on TV and we saw his courageous family. We saw, you know, all of the twists and turns. And for the first time, I remember saying to myself, you know, wow, I can see people like me stand up and be counted for. And, you know, maybe things are going to change. And as the camera would pan away from that, you'd see Fred Phelps and the Westboro Baptist Church with their, you know, God hates fag signs. And I would just get so angry because I would say, you know what, that's not the God that I grew up with. The God that I grew up with said, you know, love me with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself, and that nothing in the world can separate you from my love. You know, I, you know, how could the same Jesus who loved all the little children of the world have left out a community of LGBT children who just wanted to, you know, find their own place in society? You know, and all the things that the church and everyone else, you know, Republicans, whoever, or whatever have said about us. Don't you think sometimes that God is just standing up there in heaven looking down and going, you know what, you've got it all wrong. Sitting in church singing how I love Jesus Feeling good about everything But come Monday morning You're walking a picket line You're carrying a sign that says God hates fags, what a drag When you choose to speak for me Without any compassion Without charity oh, That's not what I meant You misunderstood Love, don't judge, give, don't take, bless, don't blame. You got it all wrong when you fail to see the lesson I taught on that tree. Oh, you ask for forgiveness, but I've never seen you repent. You can't hate in my name, that's not what I meant. Some of these young girls that you're calling murderers, do you even care they were raped? But numbly you'll sit and watch CNN, and at a quarter to ten, we're bombing Baghdad, what a drag. 
you take it so casually If that's all it costs for your liberty oh, That's not what I meant, you misunderstood Love, don't judge, give, don't take, bless, don't blame You got it all wrong when you fail to see The lesson I taught on that tree Oh, you ask for forgiveness But I've never seen you repay You can't kill in my name That's not what I meant The hurt and confused The broken and abused How I love, how I love Yeah, that's what I meant Can you understand? Don't judge, give, don't take, but less don't blame You won't get it wrong when you finally see The reason I died on that tree Oh, you'll ask for forgiveness And I'll finally see you repay When you love in my name Yeah, that's what I meant You gotta learn